4K Info, where we discuss exploring and exposing crime in our community. Our video will be ready in 5, 4, 3, 2, stay tuned. Today's topic is Bradley Brown. First in Charles County, where police are searching for a suspect in the deadly shooting of a 17-year-old boy. This happened late last night outside a home on Warehouse Landing Road in Bryan's Road. That's just off Indian Head Highway. Police say Bradley Allen Brown was shot and killed in the driveway of that home. We're told grief counselors will be at his school today, <coughs> pardon me, at North Point High School in Waldorf. Well, good evening. Right now, 17-year-old Daryl Freeman is in jail, charged as an adult with first-degree murder. Tonight, 17-year-old Daryl Freeman is accused of killing 17-year-old Bradley Allen Brown in Bryan's Road. Police say Freeman fired several shots, and Brown died in front of his parents' home on Warehouse Landing Road around 7 o'clock Tuesday night. Do you have anything to say to the Brown family? We try to get a comment about the arrest from Daryl Freeman's relatives. They won't talk, and they drive away. But his neighbor speaks out. What's your reaction knowing that the suspected killer is your next-door neighbor? I I'm, I'm shocked. 17-year-old Daryl Freeman is a consistent honor roll student who plays football for Thomas Stone High School, according to the Charles County Public School System. He's now facing first-degree murder charges and will be charged as an adult in the shooting death of 17-year-old Bradley Brown. Charging documents obtained by News 4 show that the two knew each other and had been communicating on Snapchat just before the shooting. According to the documents, Bradley Brown had been selling THC vape cartridges and Freeman supposedly sells marijuana. Brown gave Freeman his address on Snapchat so the two could meet, according to the arrest report. Shortly after, Brown was found shot to death in the driveway of his Charles County home, a Smith & Wesson gun next to him. According to the charging documents, detectives determined the gun next to Brown was a police service weapon that belonged to his father. It had not been fired. Brown was the son of a Prince George's County detective and had two brothers who served as Prince George's County police officers. Brown was a senior and honor student at North Point High. He was part of the school's competitive criminal justice program, was just named an Eagle Scout, and ran cross-country track. He could be with this group, this day, the next group, another group. Uh had a big smile on his face. Freeman's next door neighbor says the teen comes from a good home and a good family. You know, you look at him and say, yeah, that's a good kid. You know, he plays football, he's in school. Both of these 17 year olds were armed that night, but what led to mm -hmm. one shooting the other? There are still plenty of questions. The Prince George's County Police Department tells me that they're looking into how Brown got a hold of his father's service weapon. That's a part of an ongoing investigation. In court today, new details revealed in the shooting death of 17-year-old Bradley Brown. There are now two additional suspects, 19-year-old Michael Quali and 16-year-old Keyshawn Belasco, who is charged as an adult. In court documents obtained by News 4, they show 19-year-old Michael Quali is the second suspect named in the homicide case. Charging docs say he provided a statement to police and acknowledged his involvement in the incident. Court documents say Quali confessed that they met the victim with the intention of robbing him of the THC vape cartridges he was selling. Quali's charges are similar to those of the first suspect, Daryl Freeman. Both are charged with first-degree murder and gun charges in the shooting death of 17-year-old Brown, but Quali carries an additional armed robbery charge. According to police, Bradley Brown had been selling THC vape cartridges, and Freeman supposedly sells marijuana. Brown gave Freeman his address on Snapchat so the two could meet, according to the arrest report. Shortly after, Brown was found shot to death in the driveway of his home with the Smith & Wesson next to him. According to charging documents, detectives determined the gun next to Brown was a police service weapon that belonged to his father. It had not been fired. Brown was the son of a Prince George's County police detective and had two brothers who served as Prince George's County police officers. Brown was a senior athlete and honor student at North Point High. The first suspect, charged with first-degree murder in this case, was also an honor roll student and a football player at Thomas Stone High School, according to the Charles County School System. He tried speaking with Freeman's mother about the case. She would not come.